This is IPW Impact Pro Wrestling on Alt TV. Oh, what's the this about? Bro? Impact Pro Wrestling, what's bro. That e? What's that? <laughs> Welcome to IPW Ignition, home of New Zealand's premier professional wrestling. I'm Dion McCracken, joined once again by Commissioner of IPW, Daddy Cool. We've got another bumper show tonight. We're going to kick things off with the third degree Jason Burns taking on the one Vinnie Dunn. Jason Burns in the Kimura, I tell you what, he's been making a lot of guys tap in IPW, Dion. And Vinnie Dunn, hey, before we get to the match, this is what he's got to say about himself. Do you know who we have to get in the ring with? This man has to get in the ring with Jason Burns. That idiot, that shoot fighter. You know what he can do to do serious damage? Not just to the one's beautiful face and body, but to the arm. That's right. You see this gun? This is the largest arm in New Zealand. And tonight, Jason Burns, that, 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 that idiot, he is dangerous. I should not have to get in the ring with him. So you know what I'm going to do? Because I don't like any of you out there. I'm going to go to Danny Doghead, and I'm going to get out of this match. Let's go, Gary. Let's get out of it. Introducing next, at this time, 100 kilograms of muscle and 20 kilograms of ego, accompanied by his manager, Mr. 100%, Kerry Davis. He is the self-proclaimed New Zealand's greatest wrestler. He is also a former Armageddon Cup champion. This is the one. Mr. New Zealand Wrestling. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on IPW Ignition tonight, we're lucky, I guess you could say, to be joined by the one Vinny Dunn. I'll tell you what, Dion. All this mutual adulation, I feel like somehow I ended up in All Saints concert or something. I just wanted to stop. You know what? This man makes me so proud to be a part of New Zealand professional wrestling. He is Mr. Wrestling New Zealand. Look at him. Look how tremendous Vinnie Dunn looks. Oh, body like a great god. Do you want me to get his number for you, Dion? Some sanity returning here to Bongaray tonight. The third degree Jason Burns. Seen him in action on ignition before. And if you were lucky enough to catch him that time, you'll know this man is a master of submission wrestling. That mixed martial arts style is so popularized by the UFC. A huge proponent of that is Jason Burns. You know what, when Vinny Dunn heard he was fighting Jason Burns here in Whangarei, he, he had to laugh. He said he's nothing, he's a dog head, and it'll be all over in two minutes. Mark my words, he said, I was going to put money on him at TAB. We'll just see about that, I reckon, Dion, because Burns two has minutes. really proved his pedigree. <laughs> Submissions out of nowhere. Just managing key locks, the Kimura holds and the, the arm bars. And it wears an opponent down. Dunn's acting smart so far, but just wait till Burns gets going. Should be a good workout for Vinny Dunn. I know he's been looking for a, a uh, sparring partner. Who knows, he may want to see it go, I don't know, three, four minutes. Oh, hello. Whoa! 
Burns is trying to break Dunn's defences there. Dunn taking, making the smart move and covering up. Oh! Flying you can't do that to Vinny Dunn. And now Burns is absolutely pounding down Dunn. You know, you know, I think you might be right about the two-minute prediction. I think the only problem would have been no, no, that no, you would have no, got no. the victor wrong. No, 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 Cardo. I said four minutes. Open your tardingers. Four minutes. I'm working with amateurs. And now Dunn sliding outside the ring. People on the outside trying to regain his composure, get his strategy back. Now Dunn getting distracted by fans on the outside. Burns methodical and calculated in that ring. Still oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> See, he's smart, Cardinal. And that's the difference between someone like Vinnie Dunn and someone like Jason Burns. Brains and Gary O'Davis on the outside. And the one Vinnie Dunn has Burns up in the scoop slam. Dropping him right in the middle of that squared circle. I'd rate that, I'd rate that slam five star. And I'll tell you something for free, Dion. Dunn is never going to win with pinfalls like that. Very slack. Lack uh, lost the cover there. Are you stupid, James? He doesn't want to win with a pinfall like that. He is psyching him out because he is so smart and because Jason Burns is a dog head. That's how it works. I've been in the strategy meetings. I know this stuff. Massive suplex by the one Vinny Dunn. I won't argue Dunn is very good in that ring. Yeah, he, he is. just not one let me Let me cut you off there. Two count. How's that four minute clock going, Dion? I tell you, the problem is Dunn's not one tenth as good as he thinks he is. And of course, that mutual adoration society that is Gary O. Davis on the outside. Mr. 100%. Is he selling white wear now or something? Oh, look at the ring. Birds reversing that whip. With that hammerlock. Oh, is that Kimura? And Dunn's tapping. No, 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 Dunn no, is no, tapping no, no, no. outside no, he, the ring. No, he was reaching for, um, he was reaching for something. He was reaching for something. Oh, sorry, bum. Oh, only two. And let me tell you, Dunn had a handful of tights there, but Burns all kicking out. And this match right now should be over. Dunn was yeah. tapping out. Um, yeah. It should be over. He was going for the four-minute mark, but I think, I think there was a strange, uh, a change of strategy. Six, seven minutes. He was looking at. He wanted a bit of a workout. You're dead right. It, it should be over, but um, yeah, yeah. Change of plan. Oh, beautiful scoop stand by the one Vinny Dunn. Here we go. Cover. And what have I told you about covers like that? That mind is games. not going to win mind a games. match. It's more mind games, card. No, pay attention. Here we go, the straight from the coast finisher. When he hits it, it's over. Sal <laughs> Jason Burns. And yeah. once again, Dunn not taking the time to Slow pin. and methodical press-ups, Vinny. He's not pinning Jason Burns. What a stupid move. Honestly. I've got to give credit to Dunn. He could have potentially won it by now, maybe, but never like this. And this is the problem that happens when your ego just runs wild inside that ring. And Burns fighting back. Dunn perhaps looking for super picks there. from the top, reversing that superplex into a super urinage takedown. Both men down. Will either be able to respond to Leighton Cox's 10 count? Look, this is, this is all part of the strategy. Nothing to worry about. We, we talked about this in the back. Uh, it's part how, of the strategy. How Vinny. is Vinny Dunn being thrown 10 feet and landing yeah. on his yeah, back? Yeah, well, we read, we read Jason Burns is going to do that. And we wanted to, we, we want to mix it up a little bit, uh, give Vinny a bit of a challenge. Come on, Vinny. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, 
slam, landing Burns down. Burns bleeding from the nose at this point. And again, done jaw jacking with the fans. Honestly, he's going to be lucky if he manages to take this away tonight. Here we go, Vinny, the big elbow. Burns bleeding and broken, still with the presence of mind to roll out of the way. And now Burns, second one coming up. Dunn is down that arm, he landed right on that arm, is now injured, and Burns has him up. Reversal by Dunn. Burns comes through, duck under. Come on, duck under him. again. Comes ah. up, sleep <laughs> on. Oh, 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 no, no. Burns reverses it. And Burns now pinfall. <laughs> Two count, just yeah. not enough. It's getting hot under these lights. Whip from pulling the post. Oh, no, no. Takes the one Vinny Dunn down. And Burns is sizing his opponent up now. Just wiping that butt from his face. Oh! Waffles him. Just catches him with that drop kick. And now Dunn is in severe trouble in that ring, Dion. It's part of the strategy. Single arm. Front Russian leg sweep. There's that injured arm. That elbow drop landed on the mat on that arm. And Dunn is in trouble now. Burns signaling he wants to go up top. He wants to take his game all the way to the top rope. No, I'm starting to feel a bit sick. Dunn is up, but reeling. Here comes Paul. Massive flying hip out the top. No, 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 Oh. Two and a half count again, so close. Burns basically a human torpedo there. And time out, time, time out, ref. There's no timeouts in wrestling. Hey, there's timeouts if Finney Dunn wants a timeout. And Dunn signaling for the end of it, has him up for the only one. Oh. Burns reverses it, grabs him, has a hammerlock, cinched in. Has that modified oh. sleep and has got it locked. All he needs to do is just sit oh. and look at that move, Dion. Dunn's tapping. Dunn has tapped out. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match by submission, the third degree, Jason Burns. On another man taps to the camera and it just happens to be your little buddy, Vinny Dunn. Well, let's just move on, shall we? Victor Lucid now taking on taking on Halo in the main event of the evening. We sp we spoke to Victor. I'm sorry for this. We spoke to Victor Lucid earlier on. Here's what he had to say about his match. So tonight, Victor Lucid fights Halo, the filthy Mexican. Finally, I get to rid of my beautiful city, Auckland City, of this defilement. This Mexican. Finally, I can sit on Ponsonby Road enjoying my cafe latte in peace without fear of his stench wafting across my table, interrupting my fine Cuban cigar, my cafe latte, and my beautiful soup. Introducing first, at this time, he weighs in tonight at 78 kilograms, and he hails from Ponsonby. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Super Ninja This is Victor Lucid! Well ladies and gentlemen, welcome tonight. I am James Cardinal. Joining me on commentary is my partner Dion McCracken. Dion, we're here in your hometown of Fort Murray, mate. How are you enjoying it? Oh, this is absolutely fantastic, James. They've come out in their, they've come out in their hundreds here the first time. Whangarei's had professional wrestling 25 years, and listen to this response. Oh, mate, just listen to the audience going. Honestly, it's been a long time without wrestling up here in Whangarei, and tonight, Impact Pro Wrestling bringing it up and down the country, and I can't wait, Dion. 
and introducing his opponent. Introducing next, he hails from Mexico City, Mexico. Weighing in tonight at 140 ounce of tequila. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Halo! Ever popular Halo making his way down to the ring, accompanied as usual by wife. Halo, of course, very popular with the fans here in Whangarei and deep throughout the country. What an incredible athlete he is as well. Well, very much. He's a very infectious figure as well, Dion, I find. And, um, you know, his, his joie de vivre, his joy for life is absolutely infectious. Don't talk to me about infections, card, no. <laughs> and we have the first match here. Halo in the black versus the white panted Victor Lucid. And already, Dion, this audience, absolutely wild for it. Well, let's not, let's not forget about the history between Halo and Victor Lucid, a former member of the A-list and a man who was responsible, partly, for getting Halo kicked out of the country just a few short months ago. Oh, absolutely, Dion. Um, the rivalry between those two, very long and storied. Some would say that the A-list's continued inability to deal with Halo, pretty much the motivating factor behind their split a few months back. Look, whether you like him or not, you've got to admit Victor Lucid looks so good in that ring. Look how stylish he is, Cardin. I bet you wish he looked that good in Tommy Gear. Well, you know, at the same time, Dion, he's not exactly winning any friends or influencing any people here in Whangarei tonight. Well, Lucid cares about one thing, that is winning as these two tie up again Halo with a reverse waist lock straight into that side headlock. You want to talk about Halo's style of course it's that Lucha Libre style so popular in Mexico such a huge influence on the North American wrestling scene. <laughs> See Lucha trying to cut him off there with that headlock but Halo oh, going through. Lucha just jumped on the mat by Halo and this crowd is absolutely eating it up. television debut of Halo tonight and Lucid already trying just to back off head back to the dressing room I, uh, I don't think they like Victor Lucid here in Whangadei well you know this is the problem you face Dion if you don't attempt to win the fans over there are constant distractions during your match you know a guy like Halo draws on the energy of his fans to really boost his performance in that ring once again, looking at locking up and Victor Lucid. That's the ring smart, the ring savvy of a guy like Lucid. That boot to the to the uh, bread basket. It's all it takes to take control of the match. And now Halo in trouble. And you can hear Lucid just pummeling Halo's chest with that knife edge chop. Whips him from pulling post. Halo reverses. Halo moving up, kick to the midsection. Oh, look out! Look out! Halo has him up, signaling. Down! Down. Unbelievable! Seen that move many times from Halo. This one is over. Oh, wait a second. Oh, incredible that resilience of Victor Lucid. Well, you can talk resilience all you like, Dion Lucid, clearly dazed by that powerful maneuver. Lucid. Whips him off the ropes as Halo. Oh, he'll get right to the face. Another kick to the midsection. And Halo has him exactly where he wants him now. Look out. Oh, big suplex by Halo. Victor Lucid, the worst for it. Halo makes the cover again. One, two. Oh, so close for Halo. Lucid out again at two there. Halo, I was certain he had at that time with that suplex, but not quite. You know, both these guys are looking for that one big move to put their opponent away. Lucid is that Lucid dreams, that beautiful move off the second rope. Lucid holding onto the ropes. Halo seems confused. Shoulder barges him through. Halo tries a second time, off the ropes again. Drop high hold, look at the finesse on that. Lucid is down and out, Dion. Nice trip there by Halo, who's really dominating this match. I don't know if many people would have expected that, but as we mentioned earlier, Halo with so much hatred to a guy like this, you know he just wants to dominate Lucid, finish him off, take wife home for, you know. You know, interesting move here. We have that Mexican surfboard. Halo's really playing to the crowd, cinching it in. Oh. And look at the hyper extension on Lucid's back. You know, Victor Lucid's had a long and storied history of back injuries. And the crowd corner can't tap, but how's he going to tap out? His, his arms are held down. 
not just the pressure on the back, but look at the pressure on the shoulder joint, the pressure on the knees, even on the ankles. Such a, a well-rounded manoeuvre and Absolute. so much pain. Oh, and now Halo with that Dragon Sleeper, cinching it in even further. Lucid's in trouble, nowhere to go. Just managing to look like a thumb to the eyes here to get out of that hole by Halo. Lucid just seems groggy and dazed, hasn't really had that chance to build offense yet. Referee Leighton Cox warning Lucid about his unsportsmanlike conduct. I don't think Cox quite saw what went on. He knows something went on toward, untoward went on, but if he doesn't see it, the guy can't call it. Well, absolutely. And of course, wrestlers can be eliminated by disqualification in matches such as this. Flagrant rule breaking. Oh. Appreciate it. Look at that shining. Lucid with that big face. running knee. Oh, big elbow by Lucid. And Lucid really, you know, not going to any length to get the fans behind him. The fans here in Fungaray tonight, and no doubt the fans watching from TV at home, not going to be impressed with Lucid's performance. And now Halo getting a taste of his own medicine, really getting his back cinched back with that modified camel clutch. Oh, Lucid drops the leg right on the back of the neck of Halo. Vicious maneuver, the type of move that will knock someone out in the heartbeat. Follows up with a second. Sick one right across the back of Halo's neck. And that's Vicious Dion as well, that leg dropping straight across. Lucid saying it's all over, pump handle. Oh, oh the suplex. Halo must have bounced up three feet. Lucid now almost mocking the audience. Very, oh. very lackluster cover there. Didn't go for the leg, didn't go for any of those technical things that you should do if you really want to secure a win in that squared circle. So close for Victor Lucid though. Goes Reversal by Halo, comes through. Catches Lucid, Lucid's in trouble. Oh, oh the sidewalk slam, sees Lucid down. This could be Halo's one shot in my opinion. Halo calling for the top rope. I was talking about knockout blows Dion, and this is one of those moves. Oh! Moonsault misses Halo. Nothing but Matt there. Giving it everything but missing it all. And Victor Lucid, if he's going to take the match, I think he has to take control now. Halo, when Halo gets on top, he's just got so much offense going for him. And now Lucid lining up Halo. What's this move? Very innovative use of the ring. Comes oh. through and see that clothesline. Nearly taking Halo's head off there. Referee Leighton Cox applying the five count. Of course, Halo tied up in the ropes. A legal maneuver, but for a guy like Lucid, it's just uh, it's good sports conduct for a guy like Lucid. Well, it's all fair. You, you know, Dion Lucid is a very experienced and wily ring veteran. He knows to push everything right to that oh. five second mark. Big elbow to the back of the neck there by Victor Lucid. And you can see Halo's now in trouble. That mask. Doing nothing to protect that onslaught on his head. Already Lucid trying to exacerbate those injuries he must have caused with those leg drops earlier in the match. Big right hands by Victor Lucid. Oh, blocked by Halo. Halo fires back. Another punch now. Lucid's groggy and on the ropes. Halo's heading up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. This does not bode well for Victor Lucid. Oh, Lucid, but Lucid throwing him off. That tornado DDT blocked. Now Lucid with the kick in the midsection. This look, could be that Lucid dreams. Lucid sizing up. Oh! Landing a pink ball coming now. One, two. That's all she wants there. Lucid taking away the win. Wife in the ring now checking on Halo. Referee Lathan Cox also checking if Halo's okay. That that lucid dreams a brutal move and oh. Halo taking every ounce of it that time. Look, it's an outstanding finish by the crowd. Certainly appreciating the efforts of Halo here tonight. Wife certainly looking very concerned. I don't think she's going to be getting any uh, any action tonight, if you know what I mean. You're lucky the show's on after Midnight McCracken with comments like that. Good grief.
Halo seeming confused, even more confused what than normal. Than he IPW there. Ignition, an impressive win to Victor Lucid over Halo. Lucid Dream, what a sweet, sweet finish, mm. Dion. Sorry, mate, I've got to get some info about the website, so after last week's debacle, let's just step back a bit, okay? Oh, if you want some more info about Impact Pro Wrestling, check out our website. What's that, Dion? Alrighty then. Dude. Catch us here again next time on our TV. Listen up, man.